Hello and a really warm welcome to today's video where we will be talking about the three income streams you need in your business in order to grow. I'm Rachel Smith, the business grower, and we were talking about this very thing in last week's video. And if I can figure it out, I will link last week's video to this one. If not, just have a look through my um, library, you will see it there. But we were talking last week about um, how to scale your business and the, and the element that lots and lots of business owners kind of miss out on and then find that scaling a business feels really, really tricky. And we touched on um, today's content in a little bit, but today I actually want to go into those three different types of income streams in more detail and give you some examples of how you can use this, whether you have a product-based business or a service-based business. Because I think sometimes people who've got product-based businesses um, don't realize that they can actually use this themselves in their business. And yes, you can definitely do it if you're in a service-based business. So if you are a coach, consultant, um, anybody providing a service. So let's talk about this because it's important because you're here watching this because you understand you want to scale your business and we want to do that as gracefully as possible. I am all about building businesses gracefully. It's not about a hard hustle for me. It's about having that overall plan and using some really smart strategies that allow you to grow your business whilst still living your life. I've done it the other way where you give up your life to grow your business and uh, that, that just lend, leads to a road of misery and um, of wealth. So we don't want to do that. We want to grow our businesses gracefully. You know, we are female entrepreneurs. We have got so much else going on in our lives that we need to focus on as well. So why do you need three um, streams of income? I talked about that in the video, which hopefully I would have linked above um, last week. But what the key element is when you have just one stream of income you are kind of putting all of your eggs in your basket and if anything from this year in 2020 when this video has been filmed when we've been dealing with a worldwide pandemic is that one of the key things that has come out of this is that as a business we need to be able to have several streams of income. But it's sensible to do this anyhow. So yes, it allows you to scale a business really quickly when you've got several streams of income coming in because it allows your audience to choose the different levels that you are available to work with. So if, for example, you are just selling your one-to-one -one time, which is your premium rates, it could put people off who haven't had the opportunity to build up that like known trust element that they need before they come and work with you on a one-to-one -one basis. So actually having um, different levels of um, income and different streams of income into your business allows you to scale your business without having to work loads of crazy hours. It allows your audience to come and try you out at different price po points and it allows you to build up a funnel as well. We'll talk about that in future videos. But also it allows you to have more freedom in your business. If you were reliant up until this point, just on one-to-one -one work, that is very time consuming. It doesn't leave you an awful lot of time to actually take holidays, um, cope with any illnesses that come along, uh, and it doesn't really allow for you to take time off in your business when you want to and that's what i absolutely love about my business is that yes i have commitments I have clients that i'm working with there are group coaching calls that i take for the 5k club that are set in stone but apart from that i have a lot of freedom so if i want to go for a bike ride with my friends in the morning i can do weather permitting i do live in the uk after all so let's talk about the three different streams of income that you can use in your business so we we'll just talk about three streams of income the first one is we'll, we'll deal with the easiest one first the first one is your non-passive income stream and that is the money that you generate from your highest price point this is your premium way of working with you so if you're a coach or a consultant a designer whatever your service-based business is, if you're a yoga teacher, this is when you are working one-to-one -one with a client. But it could also be, if you're a service-based business, it could also be a VIP day, 
It could be private consultancy, private coaching, uh, done for you services. It could be you being paid as an expert to speak on a stage, to speak at an event, a retreat. Um, lots of different ways that you can create non passive income streams in your business. It's not just one thing. If you are a product based business, this is still your premium. Uh, product. This is still the product that costs the most money for your clients to purchase. So it could be uh, spe uh, special packages that you've pulled together, maybe dealing with a specific problem that your product helps people to overcome. It could be limited editions, uh, special offers, special uh, collaborations. Perhaps you've collaborated with another business and you're running that for a particular period of time. So basically, your most expensive product is your non-passive um, range. Next up is your passive income. We, t we hear a lot about passive income, and I think a lot of, I don't, I don't see it so much now, but there used to be, a few years ago, a lot of marketing about how you could um, have a business where you just laid, laid on the beach and income just fell into your bank account and it does happen like that but you do have to put some leg work in and you still need to work in your business so if you are a, a service based business this is where you are working uh, one to many this is where you're working with groups of your clients and it could include group um, group coaching group training it could be a mastermind it could be a retreat it could be a group course it could be a membership now, this is also a really brilliant form of income for you to put into your business if you are a product-based business. And more and more companies are actually creating this. Um, and this is where you are creating maybe a subscription service for your business. And there are loads of really good examples on the in the marketplace at the moment. So this is um, a membership or a subscription where you get your clients to buy your product on repeat. And it's just set up, it's automated, and it just automatically happens. I've got one set up with Holland and Barrett for my protein supplement. But you, there's also really good examples in the floristry um, industry. Um, thinking of Freddie's Flowers here, where you can get weekly, um, monthly, quarterly subscriptions to receive fresh flowers. In the beauty industry, one of the biggest names that we've got at the moment who's doing this really, really well is Beauty Pie. Um, book subscriptions have been doing this for years. And it's, it's nothing new. It's just been really, really creative about using this in your business. Um, there's also a company called Harry's, which is like a shaving product for men. Um, so you could literally do this with any product based business. I see clothing companies do this as well. So a really, really brilliant way of scaling your business. And you know, you, you do the work in the first instance, and then it's set up on automation. And then your final income stream is your non passive income stream. And this is all about a product or service that you have already created, and it doesn't need for you to put any more personal time in. You are not personally delivering this. So if it was a training program, it's one of the, it's a training program that has been pre-recorded. And um, so you are not delivering any other elements to it. If you are, that's like a, a like a semi-passive income stream, isn't it? Or a passive income stream. But the, so the non-passive income stream is a standalone product so it's a course, it's a program, it's something that you've maybe pre-created and that you are selling. It could also be if you are a service-based business, a video series, it could be an ebook, done for your templates. I brought some brilliant ones during lockdown of those. Handbooks, printables, there are so many things that you can do as a service-based business where you are creating a non-passive income stream that just has you generating income really really easily and very gracefully and again if you're in a product based business this could include like your product couldn't it? it could just be your product that you send out one time one order one time it could be a video series it could be a master class so uh, again over lockdown we saw lots of innovation happening lots of people who um so let's have a think there was bobby brown the makeup company 
obviously they're really renowned for their um, products and they were selling beauty classes so pre-recorded beauty classes and they were selling those um, so recorded ones sold hundreds thousands of times um, and also if you're product based business perhaps even a workbook would be appropriate so there are loads of things the most important thing is is that you look at bringing in all three uh, streams of income obviously not all at the same time and you have them running and you have them helping you to scale your business and one of the most important things here is for you to be really creative and if you don't know how to get started one of the best places is to get started to is actually to do some market research and actually ask your audience what they are looking for. What is the gap in your market that you can create a product in each of those streams? So I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you've got any questions or comments down in the box below. And um, if you've liked this video, ensure that you click the like on uh, the video and also ensure that you are subscribed so that every week you receive my weekly YouTube video where we'll be looking at how you can grow your business as gracefully as possible. Okay, until next time, see you later.